Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are over on Lost Island and right now I am going to show you how to walk through the puzzle cave, the labyrinth, whatever you'd like to call it and get some ridiculous loot. Now it is an amazing little adventure. It only takes like five or six minutes and you can do it on repeat every 45 minutes when these drops respawn. So this is a really awesome trick. Hopefully it helps you out. And if you haven't considered doing so already, please like and subscribe the video or put a comment below with what you wanna see and that would be awesome. It helps me out a ton. So anyways, how do we do this? Essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the following chords on your map. You're gonna hit just about 8777 and you're gonna find the side of a cliff face that looks like this and you're going to go into this area right here. Now inside of this there are a total of five loot drops, a total of five. Now I'm gonna give you hints, tricks, everything you need to know in order to get all of them. Now left is how you get out of this, right is how you go into it. Always come in, go to the right, and you're going to see this cave. Now you're going to be activating some doors while you do this, so be careful because those doors will slam shut behind you. Now before we go in here, I want to show you what you're actually going to get. There are a total of five, and here are the rooms that you're going to get them in. So let's go ahead and move towards it right here. So move up just a little bit. So there's one that hovers near the entrance. There's a one that is a little bit further down and then two right next to each other. And it's pretty simple to get all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the room so that way you can kind of, if you're already in here, see what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and go up into this. There we go. Now the closest one to the front is right here and it's right in the entrance. It's in two different locations in this large room or a small room next to it. I'll show you the small room next to it once we get there. And then the next ones are pretty simple as well. We're gonna go ahead and go down into this guy right here. This one is always in this hallway, just so you can see it right here. Pretty simple to get to the pillar hallway. Um, the next one that we're gonna go down into is over here and it's always in this throne room. You can see this giant throne room. This is another point of interest, so you can see it. Uh, the next one that we're gonna go ahead and check out, and don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through how to do all of this anyways, but let's go ahead and get to the point. So obviously there's that one, and right next to it, there's another hidden room with the, inf I guess the infinity gauntlet or the whatever you wanna call it in here with the survivor's implant and everything. And uh, right here, you can see it. This is a easy one to get into. You have to basically lock or get your way into the room. So let's go ahead and show you now that you know where they are, how to get to them. Let's go back to the where point where we just were at. And boom, there we go. So now that you're in here, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna smack a button right to the left of this guy. Now these buttons will close, so you gotta be careful about that. Um, and that's one of the big dangers in here. So basically make sure you get through these before that button closes. Now, another thing you wanna watch out for, there are tons of traps here to drop narc grenades, regular grenades, things that'll kill you. Avoid being in the center of the room as much as possible because being in the center is how you get through these, uh, you know, all these traps to get activated. Now, what we're gonna do is I like jumping across this so I don't waste a grapple, but you can grapple this entire way as well, just so you can see. Um, and that's, that's kind of an easy way to get across this. So if you bring grapples, you should be just fine. Now, what you do wanna bring on this is a good set of flak, med bruise, shotgun, and grapple, and that's really all you need. So there are two routes. Now, there are always one drop on this floor right here. So if you avoid the center, I'll go ahead and show you. Sometimes you step on the center and you end up activating traps and it's just like these big boxes. Some of them activate, some don't. There's one right there. Yes, that's a bunch of grenades. So if you avoid stepping on those, you won't activate that. So this guy right here, you can see pretty good loot in there, terror bird saddle and a good shotgun. Now this is one of the chambers. If you don't find it over here, this all is one floor, so you should be just fine to like run around. You'll find it in here sometimes or over here on this right here. So those are the three locations. And if you were to go back to the where we just were, this, this is just one floor. If you go left and continue down this direction, you will end up going down the hill. Again, avoid the center of the room as much as possible. I'm just kind of hitting it so you can see some of these traps. There are uh, poison arrow traps, grenades, narc grenades, and bugs, so be careful of those. Now, obviously you see that I'm just kind of like running around right now. This next floor is also pretty easy to get around, so essentially you're gonna have two areas in here. Um, you can go right or left, you see this right here, that's where we came from right there. Um, and they'll give you like this middle section. However, if you hang to the left or to the right, you will end up at a stairs set that will bring you down to the next location. Now you're just gonna try and avoid everything you can, and boom, there's both sides, it's another floor right there. Now where it gets confusing is the next floor. You end up here on this little skeleton terrifying thing of death, 
and there's a right and a left. There is not a right way. Um, there are drops on both sides of this. This is kind of just where you start adventuring. I'll show you how I get to them. I usually go left first and then kind of hang to my left. And you'll see this is a point of interest for me because I know that there's a blocked pathway here. Now, there are ways to open this. You will be able to sit the button right here just like this. Um, and you'll open this door if you really want to. You do not have to, though. Um, I like going this way just because I think it's simple. But that's personal opinion. So do this as you wish. Now this will end you in a area right here. See this gate? You can open this gate. You just have to find the button on the wall. Now the button is a little bit back. It's very difficult to see, which kind of sucks. Um, so you have to find the actual location of it. And once you get it right here, this will open up your door and give you quick access to another loot crate. Now, boom, now we are in that one throne room that we just talked about, and you have access to a really awesome, look at those gauntlets, yes please, um, blueprints, very nice, and you get access to those right away. Now these are desert crates, so they are very valuable, and uh, this is kind of just how it is, so yeah. Uh, that will close, it doesn't matter too much, I like that way because it gets you straight to a loot crate, and then you go out this way right here. Now there are two ways again. I usually try and stick to my left, see that right there, avoid that, you will die. Good speed will get you through all of this pretty easily though, so as long as you're careful you'll be just fine. Now you see why I went left right there. You will end in the long hallway, and this will end you up with another pair of loot items. Simple pistol as well as a nice hat, literally, that's not bad at all. Now, again, you'll see standing to one side will I'll help you out quite a bit. If you just stick to your left, you'll get through this entire thing. You can cross that, that's not a big deal, but just so you can see, this is the other side where we could have gone through if we activated the button over on this side. Now, again, this is another pathway. This is a little more difficult though, as you can see these, like the spikes, if you stand on this, uh, it will kill you, so be careful about that, but you can jump across it or you can grapple across it, it's entirely up to you. Avoid the center and you'll see that I just ended up on another pathway. So now we just one full loop. Now there are other ways to go about this. So if we would have gone right here, you end up at a different spiky trap. And this spiky trap, just so you can see, if you fall down here, you die. So be careful about that. Now I'm gonna grapple across because this is a longer one, so be careful about that. Um, and again, as long as you've gotten a like little bit of uh, speed, you can kind of avoid pretty much everything in here, or just stick to the left and right, and you will avoid every trap in this entire area. You can hear that there are some Arthropleura, so be careful about those. You will eventually run into them, so just be careful and you'll be all right. Now, the pathway that we just took, just so you can see, we are now in a new area with lots of blood. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh, we did spawn in a bat right there by standing on the left-hand side, but this is why you have your shotgun. Um, they do not spawn over cap in here, they kind of just exist. So here is another room. This is the yellow room. This is a very nice chainsaw. I'll take that all day, 278%. And you find this like long pillar room and there's always a drop in this area. Now, there is also usually, usually being the key word, an area right around here. Hello, Raptor Claws. Thank you so much, appreciate you. That you can also access in the wall. Now, we have to find that area and we'll eventually get to it. And you can usually hear the loot crate nearby. So we found the yellow and let's go ahead and get the other one inside of the wall that we have to access. Now, remember when I was saying the way up, if you find the stairs that go up almost always next to a yellow crate inside this pillars hallway, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go up these stairs and these stairs will take you to the very end. Now the very end, if you just press this button right here, where is it? There is no limit to the number of times that you can press it. Um, this will get you through the outside and you just go out into the right and boom, you're done with the cave. However, we haven't gotten everything we want. So I'm gonna go back down and in. Now I'm gonna show you one last button press that you can do in this cave in order to get some awesome loot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you by going down and into the gauntlet room. Um, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So see how those two crates are right next to each other right over here? Uh, you've got this one in that long hallway that we found. Really? Come on now. Just drop into the floor. Okay, so you remember this hallway that we found right here with the red drop inside of it? Yeah, so this is a good one to have. Now, once you find this one, if you were to go over here on this wall right here, you'll hear on the inside there is actually another loot crate. Now you have to push a button on the wall in order to activate this one. 
Now the button on the wall is actually pretty hard to find, so you've kind of got to stick to the wall and you will eventually run into the button. Now the button itself is, once you find it, you're like, oh, that's an easy one to find. It is really easy once you actually figure out where it is. It's just hard to remember where it is. <laughs> um, but I keep about head level and that seems to give me a good uh, little, there, oh, that's not it. That was a bug. Um, but if you stay about head level, you will eventually run into it. See where it is right here, this hand on the wall? If you look up a little bit, boom. You will push the button, this door will open, you will end up in this room with a awesome little amount of loot. Obviously this is a thing that does uh, have a timer on it, so get out of that room pretty quickly and you will not have any issues at all. Now once you've gotten all five of the loot crates that are in here, this is easy loot, run back to the exit and my friend you have just made a bunch of money in this game. Well money I say like loot or whatever you want to call it. See how many traps activate by the way when I walk down the center of the room? You want to avoid that at all costs. So again, just run up this guy right here and I'll show you how to get out of this cave. Again, right side button right here. There it is. The door will open. And once the door opens, we just run out and to the right. And my friend, you have done this. Congratulations on your new amount of loot. Hopefully this video helps you out. And if it did help you out, uh, please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. I appreciate it. If it didn't, let me know in this comment section below or something like, hey, you know, I appreciate that. Hopefully it helped though. Teach.